Hello guys, how you doing? I got a good video today. It's uh, the end of March 2023. We're almost into April, believe it or not. I cannot believe already. Just fixing the mic. Sorry guys. And I will be back to work very, very soon. I cannot wait, as crazy as that sounds. But this is gonna be a good video because this comes from BC Dave. He's part of my little five or six man, I guess you could say like a little mafia. We help each other out with collecting. We don't upcharge each other. If one person finds a chase, the other one collects. We hook them up for retail and then that guy does it back and it's a beautiful thing. Because some of us are in BC and he gets stuff we don't get here, vice versa. Guy in Niagara Falls, guy in Toronto, guy in Scarborough. There's a few of them. So the, the, the toy show that I'm talk about, that I'm gonna talk about at the end of this, that guy Marlin is part of it as well. He's in the little click. But this is gonna be a good video because there's surprises in this box that I don't even know about. That he wouldn't tell me. He was pretty excited about it, so I'm pretty excited about it. BC Dave, I cannot wait to see by the way, great guy, he will help anybody give the shirt off his back. If you're a good guy to him, he will be a good guy back to you. Awesome guy, loyal friend. Um, one of the few that I trust in this. But let's see here. I'm going to have to adjust my little knife. I don't want to slash anything because this is an important one. It's not Hot Wheels either. I know you see the box, but it's not Hot Wheels. So the first thing I'm going to put... Oh, these must be the surprises he told me about. Wow. Okay, so the first thing I pull from the box are the things that I did not know about. These are usually crazy expensive here in Canada. The Super 7 reaction figures. Oh no, yeah, they are the reaction figures. $24.99 each at Toys R Us. And you're not getting a lot for the price because look at the size of them. They're like the size of a G.I. Joe. But they are cool as hell. But he got them. He told me he got the item heavily discounted. He didn't tell me what it was. This would have been them. So that's Griff, and I've got Biff as an old man so far. Dave, I'm so excited, man. Thank you so much, buddy. Like, especially, I got a box coming tomorrow I'm going to open with something cool back to the future as well. I'm so excited, Dave. I'm not even into the box yet, Dave. Oh, my goodness. Like, I can't believe that. Oh, guys, this, this is for the wrestling collectors, guys. The wrestling fans are going to like this one. I'm being told I don't do enough wrestling stuff, so... Here's one for you wrestling guys. This one's not easy to get here in Hamilton. Wow. And if we do get it here... Gone off the shelf about 10 seconds later. That is cool. There's the rest of the wave anyway. But very cool. Cool looking box. I'm very selective with the AEW figures. But that is awesome. What else do we got here? Oh. Ooh. Chase. So they're making chases in a lot of lines now. And um... It's funny, I just got the notification on the phone. The other package just hit Stony Creek. But they make these Christmas ornaments, the Funko Pop Christmas ornaments, and they actually make chases of them. Now, as of now, they only make the chases in the double packs. So if you see them and they're gold like that, it's a chase. And they only come in the double packs. I'm pretty sure this is the first year they started doing them like this. Uh, in chases, if not, I could be wrong, but still an awesome one to have because Star Wars, hu huge following. Oh, I forgot I had this coming. Another Back to the Future, guys. This is a very Back to the Future theme box. 
But the 2023, see, in 2022, I had the regular version. This is the treasure hunt. You could tell it's the treasure hunt by the red, uh, red line tires. And it looks like it's all iced up. Look at that. Looks like it just came from a time warp. Crazy. Dave, I forgot all about this. Buddy, you know what? This is the best box you've ever sent me. And I'm so glad that I'm doing a video of this to remember. Dave, this, this is the best box you've ever sent me. Sorry guys, I'm forgetting this is a YouTube video, but I'm... Me and Dave send each other boxes uh, every few months. And this one is over the top. Like it's... Wait till you see this here. Wait till you see this here. Um... He went to a book signing. He lives in British Columbia. He gets a lot of stuff obviously we don't get here. I find that demographics where the money is, they get better toys, better stuff. Um, BC's got money, of course. But look at this, guys. See that? He went to the book signing. So let's have a look at this. Where is it? There it is, guys. Yep, right into a protector that will go. Or if you wanted to, you could cut the page out and frame it in a shadow box with a picture, but I'm not gonna do that. Too perfect to do that with. Wow, Dave, and there's still more stuff in the box. I'm sending your box tomorrow, by the way. I know you're watching. And the last two things here is something else that didn't come to Hamilton. He got me these months ago. And then, of course, they show up last month. But he got me these like six months ago. But how cool are those? I'm a Fox body guy. My favorite car is the Daytona and Superbird. I love Mopars, but I also love Fox bodies just as much. Bazooka Joe. You know all I love that. That'll go good with my other Bazooka Joe M2s. He sends me two of them. What a box. And I've got another one coming. Like I said, guys, it's got a Back to the Future item in it, but I'm not going to say what it is yet. Um, wow, I'm in shock. What, what good friends I have in my circle, let me tell you. Wow. Before I go, before I forget, Kuya's Toy and Collectibles Show. Uh, it's being put on by Kuya Marlin. He's a good buddy of mine. He's in my circle. It's going to be Sunday, May 7th in St. Catharines. It's going to be from 9 till 3. St. Catharines, Ontario. Of course, this is May 7th, 2023. In case you're watching this in the future. So it's 2023, May 7th. And this show is going to be a mix show. It's not just die cast. It's not just sports cards. It's not just Funko Pops. It's a toy and collectible show. He wanted to go a different road. I think it's a great idea because a lot of these shows, you go to them, it's 90% sports cards, 90% Funko Pops, 90% die cast. This is something for everyone, and it's awesome. So I'm going to put a link in the description for that show as well that's coming up. I'm going to be there helping him out with it. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please uh, subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Share the videos. And as always, happy hunting.